What's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be talking about some updates for Sundow Growers stock, trading under the ticker SNDL. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications about our future videos talking about the stock market and personal finances. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the links in the description to get your free shares of stock from Webull whenever you open and fund your account, as well as $10 of free Bitcoin from Coinbase whenever you open your account and make your first $100 purchase of cryptocurrency. And don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. It's been a while since we talked about Sundow Grower stock here on my channel with the last video being published about four months ago. And since that video, overall we haven't seen much movement in SNDL share price. Although at one point earlier this month, it did reach around 95 cents per share before pulling back and currently is trading at around 65 cents per share at the time that I'm recording this video. But despite limited movement in the share price since our last video, Sundow Growers as a company has made some significant progress overall. Earlier this month on November 11th, SNDL management announced a share repurchase program with the board of directors authorizing SNDL to repurchase up to $100 million of outstanding common shares. In addition to the announcement about the share repurchasing program, Sundow Growers Management also provided investors with some financial updates as well whenever they released their third quarter 2021 financial report on November 10th. In that earnings report, SNDL announced a net earnings of $11.3 million for the quarter compared to $71.4 million loss year over year. And in addition to that, they reported a net revenue of $14.4 million for the third quarter, which was an increase of 57% quarter over quarter and 12% year over year. And in addition to the financial updates, Sundow Growers also acquired Inner Spirit on July 20th and also entered into an agreement to acquire Alcana, which is Canada's largest private liquor retailer operating in over 170 locations throughout Canada. So with all of that being said, what are my thoughts about Sundow Growers stock as an investment? There's no denying that Sundow Growers is a very small market cap speculative penny stock. Currently trading with a market capitalization of approximately $1.3 billion at the time that I'm recording this video. But despite the speculative nature of an investment in Sundow Growers, I believe that this company continues to have significant upside ahead of it. Not only does Sundow Growers continue to improve their financial statements quarter over quarter, but they've also been setting themselves up with some great acquisitions over the past year to help the company to further grow in the future. And in addition to that, the share repurchasing program that has recently been approved is also going to add significant value to shareholders in the future with less shares being available on the market. So although Sundow Growers does continue to be a very small market cap speculative penny stock and for that reason I can't make it into a large position in my overall portfolio. I do believe that given where it's currently trading this company could easily 2 to 3x compared to where it's at right now. But just remember my videos are never medical or financial advice. They're merely me researching a company and talking about my opinions about that company based on my research. An investment in SNDL stock, like an investment in any stock, comes with risk. So if you're thinking about investing in Sundow Grower stock, please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. What are your thoughts about Sundow Grower stock? Are you invested in Sundow Growers? Are you thinking about investing in SNDL? Where do you think the share price is going over both the short term and the long term? Be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, if there are any other stocks or topics that you would like me to talk about in a future video, please feel free to comment that down below as well. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.